Hey guys, this is your host, Cynthia Wilson with Embracing His Word. Well, today we are talking about seducing spirits in the last days. This is a very important topic because Satan has released these powerful spirits in the earth because he knows that he only has a short time here and his day of reckoning is very near. So today I am teaching you about seducing spirits because I want you and myself to be protected to the utmost. You are important in God's kingdom. So this is a warning message, not only just to you, but to myself, to be alert, to be in tune with what the Holy Spirit is saying to us today, to stay in the word of God. Hey, have you subscribed to my channel yet? If not, click the subscribe button and click that bell so you can get, get the next new content that I have available. Well, this is a heavy duty topic. Listen throughout the whole video because you don't want to miss what I have to say about seducing spirits. We will also discuss how the Jezebel spirit is in collaboration with the spirit of seduction. So the scripture says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly of ravenous wolves. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. So how do you identify uh, false prophets? Do they operate under seducing spirits? So let's look at the definition of seducing. Seducing in the Greek is planos and means wandering, roving, misleading leading into error so definitely you would say that a false prophet can operate under a seducing spirit the word spirits refers to evil spirits actually putting into motion human agents of the spirit of error so it puts into the seducing spirit works through human agents such as false prophets false teachers uh to to promote the spirit of error. So that's why we have to be aware of these such spirits and also be aware of false teachers, false prophets, and, and that our hearts are rooted in the word of God. Now, so this is spirits, the lying spirits that take people over, reverse the truth in mind and spirits and make, the, make it seem false. The false is presented as truth Whenever they can, seducing spirits work through the influence of one person has on another, cause him to forget God's truth, convince him that black is white and white is black, that false is true. That is the operation of a false spirit. So one of the higher level spirits that works in connection with the seducing spirit is the Jezebel spirit. And so you may ask, what is the Jezebel spirit? It is widely believed that the Jezebel spirit is a particular spirit that can only apply to women in the form that the women will want to teach, be controlling, manipulative, and big mouth. Or you may hear the phrase, she wears the pants in the family. Now, this is a high level spirit that is released out into uh, the church, released out into the nations, released into families. So we need to be king and aware and led by God's spirit to detect this kind of spirit. Now, this is not... Uh, not always the case that Jezebel is uh, a woman. Jezebel did not have this kind of relationship with Ahab. So throughout 1 Kings 16, chapter 16, verse 29 to 22, uh, verse 40, Jezebel stroked her husband's ego, told him what he wanted to hear, and got for him all that his heart desires. So Jezebel is definitely a seducing spirit. This spirit is very much 
applicable to men. In fact, it is more prevalent in male leadership whilst the assemblies are misinformed and unsuspecting. Now, some of the characteristics of a Jezebel spirit is seduction, uh, seduces you to believe a lie, uh, seduces you into error. It is a sensual spirit and of the flesh. It is a very man manipulative spirit spirit, conniving, coercing, controlling, destructive, full of jealousy, a murderous spirit, a very uh, uh, vindictive spirit. When that spirit is opposed, someone with that type of personality or spirit that's operating in their lives, when they're exposed, they can easily go into a rage. They can easily become vindictive and sometimes exhibit violent behavior when exposed. This spirit also this, um, has characteristics of being very possessive and domineering. So it works through a male or a female. So we need to be aware and we need to be praying, Lord, I want my heart, I want my spirit protected against a Jezebel spirit. And so as we surrender and submit ourselves to God, we can experience the protection through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So we're talking about um, the seducer spirit and the Je Jezebel spirit, how they all connect together and work together. And so concerning the Jezebel spirit and this seducer spirit, you want to think about, you know, does this spirit operate in my family? Does this spirit operate in my very own life? And so you want to get before God. Allow the Holy Spirit to show you if there is anything in your life or within your family that you need to be praying about, especially in this particular area of control or manipulation. And so we don't want to be controlled. God didn't create, uh, create us to be controlled and manipulated by others, nor did he create us to control and manipulate others. So we need to ask God to help us to operate in the right spirit. So this is very important. We want to pray and ask the Lord to help us to operate in the right spirit. And so you want to think about your, your relationship with your family and get before God in prayer. So we're doing a prayer against seducing spirits. Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to come before you in prayer. And Father, I pray, Lord, for the presence of your spirit, Lord, to be in our lives, Father. Lord, that you will begin to unveil and reveal those false spirits, those seducing spirits that are not of you. Father, we surrender and we submit ourselves to you, Lord. You warn us in your word, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone into the world. So, Father, we surrender and submit our hearts to you today. We submit our souls to you, Father. Lord, we pray for a strong anointing upon our lives. Lord, that the revelation and words of, of knowledge, Lord, will be in our hearts and in our soul and spirit, Father. So, Father, we pray for that hand of protection over your people today against seducing spirits. And, Father, we we say a prayer over the new babes in Christ, that they will desire the sincere milk of your word, that their hearts, Lord, will be to dive into your word, to love your word, and to be devoted to your holy word, Father. And Father, lift up, Lord, Lord God, uh, those that desire to just come close to you, Father. And yet, Lord, they may not be rooted in your word. So, Father, I'm praying for, for that strong hedge of protection over them. Lord, that they will not be susceptible, Lord, to false teaching. Lord, just because they're, they're hungry for your word, Father. I pray for that hedge of protection over these kinds of individuals, Lord God. Finally, pray for the body of Christ. 
that we will have the ability to walk in wise discernment, Father. Lord, that we will also know false teachers, false prophets by their fruit, Father. For your word says we will know them by their fruit. So, Father, we pray for that wise discernment and the gift of discernment of spirit, Lord, to be at work in our lives, Father. Father, teach us how to be a student of your word. Lord, grant us the ability to discern the false teaching, the false doctrines, destructive heresies. Father, we submit ourselves to you, Lord, to be a living sacrifice, to be holy and acceptable unto you. Father, this is what we choose as our reasonable service. And Lord, we choose not to be conformed to the ways of this world, but transformed by the renewing of our minds. So Father, speak of transformation in the in the minds and the hearts of the viewers today. Lord God, let continued transformation take place. And Father, I thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness. In the powerful name of Jesus, bless every viewer, Lord, with your blessings and protection. In Jesus' name, I pray.